Hello you guys and welcome to my 2021 Christmas Decorate with me. But before we get into the video, I wanted to share that I'm so excited because today's video is a Christmas collaboration with my lovely friend Didi from Didi Mom Boss. She will be decorating her living room as well for the holidays. I want to invite you to go over to her channel because I know you will love her content. She has a beautiful home, amazing ideas. I'm so happy we found each other. It's amazing how you can meet wonderful people through this platform. So my first tip for you is fluffing your tree. This is essential in order for your tree to look fabulous. Take your time, put on some Christmas music, have fun with it because it does take a lot of time, but it really, really makes a difference. This is a seven and a half pre-lit tree from the Home Depot. This is a gorgeous six inch velvet ribbon. And because this will be the statement piece on my tree, I will do the ribbon first. This ribbon is sophisticated and timeless with a lush texture and rich red color. Perfect for the holidays. Now the way that I'm adding this ribbon to the tree is by making a couple of loops and then a long drape and then back with the loops. So the first one is going to be on the top of the tree and I'm trying to make here three loops. A little difficult because the ribbon is wider than a regular two and a half inch so let's make that loop and try to attach it i'm doing it here with one of the branches but you can also staple it i didn't want to ruin the the ribbon but you can staple it or use flower wired but since this is a flock tree it's going to hold pretty well if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Cindy, and here you find home decor, organization, DIYs, cook with me, and much more. I will be honored if you hit the subscribe button and join this community. So here I'm letting it drape a little bit, like 10 inch, and then I'm going in with a branch to attach it, and then open up that ribbon, and let's start making a couple of loops. I only did three loops on top just to make, you know, a statement and then the other loops will be two since I only have one ribbon and this ribbon is 10 yards. This is how it's looking so far. Make sure that you have wire ribbon so you can play around with it. I have three loops on top and then I go all the way down there and make two loops and then down again. Then here I wanted this drape to be um, longer as the tree gets wider. And I'm making two loops here and then I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna cut my ribbon and then I'm gonna shape it a little bit. Now I got my eye set on you. I'm not gonna play it safe. It's going down on Christmas Day. Cause I've been trying to tell you in every way. Yeah, I've been trying to show you, but somehow. that our ribbon is on the tree it's time to do our tree topper and for this tree I'm using picks when 
when decorating with red for the holidays, I love to use berries. It's so timeless and festive. Look at this vibrant pics from Hobby Lobby. I picked this jumbo ornament from Hobby Lobby. I only have three, so those are gonna go right in the front. I'll be making plans, make you Look at this lovely pick with a shimmering red and the snow. For this one, I wanted to have plenty of it to use on the tree. As you can see here, I'm adding it so that they could cascade it's like they're falling off the tree. So let me show you what I did on the other side of the tree. So basically I did like the same finish that I did on the other side when I cut the, the ribbon. So this is the drape and then on this side, I just cut like a 12 inch and then I tried to, to do the same as the other side. Let me show you here. Over there. And then I just had a little bit of ribbon and I just made it one loop just to create symmetry. And look at this beautiful winter owl. It's so cute. Can you spot the pine cones on the side? And one of my inspirations for this Christmas tree for my family room were pine cones. Look guys, we went in our backyard and we found pine cones those are my girls trying to help me get them i got home i washed them in warm soapy water and then we're going to spray that fake snow so it could complement our beautiful flock tree i'm glad that we brought the outdoors inside with this beautiful natural elements Next, to add more texture to our tree, I'm using this thin ribbon. I bought it online at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to create sort of a hair curl. I cut a few strips around 12 inch in length and then I'm just gonna roll it on my finger and then pull it apart from both sides and there you go. We have a beautiful curl and this looks so cute on top of that velvet ribbon. And let me show you what I did with my tree tapper. So I added more pine cones on top in clusters. And then I added more picks on that side just to make it asymmetrical. And it came out so pretty. the base of the tree I just added a throw blanket and then I'm going to add 
gift boxes. This one in particular, I bought it at from the Sugar Paper um, line from Target. And this one I got at Home Goods like two years ago. So you guys, look at this. This is so pretty. Moving on to my mantle. We did this in our decorate with me for Christmas, the prep. And I am using those acrylic risers to add my mercury glass trees. I'm going to use this command hook in the middle of my mantle to secure my garland, making sure that it won't fall. This is a clever idea if you don't want to add a nail to your mantle. I'm using my stocking holders that I bought many years ago at Home Goods that says no L. But this year it's not gonna show. I only need the hook. It comes to say that Christmas is on its merry way. And, for every and I'm gonna be using my sweater stockings. These are an ivory color, so cute, you guys, and so cozy. The first flake of snow is said to fall today. This beauty, I decided to put it on top of my couch. This is a Mother of Pearl wall art with mirror inlays. It's just gorgeous, and it reflects all the lights from our Christmas tree so romantic at night as a side table for now i'm going to be using this beautiful white pedestal which gives me all the french parisian vibes i'm on the hunt for two side tables and i needed to display our gorgeous table lamp that i show you on my christmas haul i'm adding this beautiful leather chairs on this side of the room I didn't want to block the fireplace remember that you can rearrange your furniture for each season these chairs I love them and I love the fabric it has those dark grays um, the beige the ivory like an a linen material with leather in the front I'm adding this gorgeous cream velvet pillow cover that I got from Amazon. So beautiful, it has uh, the creams and it has a little bit of silver inlays in there and gold and for a neutral palette. And for texture, I'm adding my fur pillow covers to give it that coziness. To add color to this side of the couch, I'm adding this lumber pillow and this gorgeous plaid fabric pillow cover. It comes in a set of two for a great price. I will leave all the links down below. Adding this throw that I got from Hobby Lobby for only $10 is super cozy to casually layer under some throw pillows and visually add some warmth and texture to the space. To this wall, I'm going to use this console table that I have for years. It goes so well with the great color of the furniture. And I'm adding this beautiful marble tray that I show you on my Christmas haul. Layering some coffee table books to add height. And this ginger jar will hold this beautiful holly berry branches that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It looks so realistic. It has those little snow on top that will go so great with my flock tree. And to add real stems, I'm using this um, juniper branches, I believe that it's called, from my backyard, you guys. 
and I wish that you were here so you can smell that fresh pine. to this marble bowl i'm gonna add a bunch of this acorn that my that my girl emily picked up on her way home from school i'm pretty sure some of those girls are not gonna be happy with that moving on to my coffee table i am adding this hammer bowl and this beautiful full cedar stems that i got from the heart and hand collection of Target and I'm adding five stems to give it a fuller effect. I needed to add a touch of berries to bring in the reds. Also adding for the love of white. I love this coffee table book you guys. I got it at Amazon and these two decorated accessories which i love with mary and baby jesus and joseph which is really the reason why we celebrate this magical season there's a beautiful candle in the shape of an ornament so pretty you guys and the smell is incredible i got it at target for 9.99 and on this marble tray i'm adding my coaster to keep it contained and our santa claus is joining this christmas tree this year I hope you got inspired with this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, enjoy this magical season with your family and friends. Show a lot of love to your loved ones and talk to your kids about the true meaning of Christmas. God bless you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm